biggest barriers for women, I think, are uh, a thought that they can't have it all. So can they have a, a high-performing career? And can they raise children, or if they're taking care of elderly parents, or whatever the issue they may have in their personal life that they want to balance it? That, I believe, is still the impediment. I know when I was pregnant with my first child, that was the year I was up for partner. And I started to think to myself, can I actually do this? I used to you know, make up stories if I had to leave for something related to my kids, and I learned my lesson early. People kind of watch us as women role models, and we don't even know we're role models. People are watching us to see what we do and how we balance it all and how we manage it, and they don't want to see us online at 11 o'clock at night or midnight. I used to send emails late at night. I changed that totally. No more sending emails late at night because people thought I was working the whole time and never with my kids. Meanwhile, I might have left at 4 o'clock to go to my daughter's basketball game and then came back online maybe at 10 o'clock when the kids went to bed. And that's one thing about my election to CEO. Women are saying to me, I know now I can do this too. And not that they all want to be CEO, but I, I can do this. I can be in a high-performing profession where there are a lot of demands. I can raise children at the same time that I actually I can balance it. You're proving that, that I can balance it.